You're listening to Articulate with your hosts, Kevin Kramer and Sean Gillespie, your go-to guys for art tips, techniques, and general artist ramblings. Presented by drawingandcoloring.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Articulate, the podcast where we talk about everything art. As always, I am Kevin Kramer and my co-host, Sean Gillespie. And today's podcast is going to be on... Less is more. All right, and I think that... Yeah, that completes our podcast. Wraps it up for today. I think that was it. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember to like us on Facebook. Or subscribe on that YouTube channel on the right, Mm -hmm. and uh, you'll keep up to date with us. Right. Oh, ah, we got you. All right. All right, just messing. All right, so less is more. But sometimes too much less is less. Just less. I think we just demonstrated. Yeah, as we just demonstrated. You yeah. have to have some content to have more. Exactly. Otherwise, it's just less. Otherwise, you're just working with nothing. Right. Although, I got to say, I'm no physicist, but I know that scientifically speaking, less is less, not less is more, Kevin. So what do we mean when we say that? Well... Honestly, that is a, a good observation. Right. <laughs> Less is more to me is more of taking the essence of something and stripping it down to its bare essentials. Bare bones. Bare bones. Bare minimum. What you need. The structure to get by. is it. All right. All right. That makes sense. That's kind of what I. Okay. That's what I found, and that's kind of what I think. Too. Where does the phrase "less is more" comes from? Do you know? That actually, I found some origins on that. It yeah. is. It originated. Less is more, phrase from 1855 poem Andrea del Sarto called The Faultless Painter hmm. by Robert Browning. That's, That's apparently cool. where the origin of Less is More came from. All right. That's interesting. Yeah. There you go. It originated in yeah. an artistic fashion. That's interesting. That's about interesting. art. That's cool. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, there you go. I did not know that. That's <laughs> how you do that. So let's dive into it. So when we talk about less is more, uh, we're talking about minimalism art. Uh, yes. We're talking about impressionism as well, where you're just breaking it down to light as opposed to all the fine detail, detail work that you would have in tradition or you know more traditional art. Right. Um, well, so. minimalism is actually that's where the less is more actually kind of brought back. The okay. minimalism in the, like the 60s. So the 60s, 70s. Right. Yeah. And there was actually an interesting when I was doing the research mm-hmm. is there's an artist that keeps coming up is Joseph Albers mm-hmm. who did the homage to the square. Okay. Which is, if you've ever seen those uh, square paintings, they're right. very modern paintings. Yeah. And that ties into Chuck Close's work kind of somewhere. Uh, and you're a big fan of Chuck Close. Yeah. And that, mm. it's all full circle. It is. And it is actually a possibility I could be right. related to the Joseph what? Albers. How about what? that? We need, to, we need to find this out. We need I to do. see if you are. We're going to get you on some genealogy.com and figure that out, I man. need to figure that out because he looks exactly like my grandma. Mm. And they have the same lineage. That's weird because my grandma looks a lot like Joseph Albers. Richard Nixon. Hmm. No, nah, she doesn't. I don't doesn't. know about that one. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> That's uh, a good thing. But Nixon is a handsome man. All right. Anyway, we're getting off topic. It's up to debate. So, speaking of professors and less is more, uh, Mm -hmm. I wrote down a little story I have about less is more when I uh, I went to a university and I won't say which one. um, And I was, you know, you can do the walkthrough of the art department and all that, and they do like group group walkthroughs for. Mm you know, prospective students right. to find out whether or not it's a good fit for you in their graduate program. Yeah. And so I remember doing a walkthrough and the professor who had, you know, scars on his arms where he, you know, cut himself and he's very, you know, you could tell he's a tortured artist and all that, which is fine. You know, yeah, that's all right, great that's way fine. to create. Um, <laughs> but he, uh, but I remember him saying that, you know, if you paint a line on a canvas, I want to know what that line is doing there and what it's doing to further abstraction in the history of art. And I remember thinking, that's a little dramatic. Man, this guy is a douche. That's a little dramatic, <laughs> I'd say. And, uh, and then I did not go to that school. No. <laughs> I, know, I was rejected. Oh, okay. Seven times. Wow. But 
Seven times. <laughs> I don't know. Not seven. We're minimalist enough. Not seven, but I got to get rejected more than once. Um, but my point is, that it, I felt like that was really over dramatic. But I think what he was trying to say, and it's at a point that I do agree with, which is less is more. Less is and more. And that you need to yeah. make sure that every line you draw has a purpose. An intention. Yeah, exactly. Whether it's just a contour line or whether it's a shading line, every yeah. stroke needs to have a purpose. If you're just throwing stuff in there willy-nilly, then right. that's not less is more. That's just unnecessary garbage cluttering up what should be a very delineated and very clear and clean image, yeah. I think. I I definitely agree with that. There's, I mean, if you look at any kind of uh, figure drawing or anything mm-hmm. like that, you the main thing is to get the the curve or the mm-hmm. main line of movement right. or anything like that with sketching right. that's always the right. idea behind that and that's definitely less is more but then you I feel like too you can take it too far I feel well like. that I mean you want it just like a dot on a canvas or? I feel like yeah I mean I've been to uh, you I know really some get... art museums where they have the empty canvas on the wall and say less is more I'm like you lazy bastard <laughs> that's just lazy that's what that is it's theory and concept you just didn't get <laughs> right, it right I didn't get it it was too deep for me yeah, I guess it was above your head yeah I guess after working all day on a painting and going to the museum <sighs> and seeing somebody who got into a museum with a blank some... canvas then maybe I'm a little bitter about that maybe <laughs> maybe I just wish I thought about it yeah I think you just but... didn't get enough concept <laughs> behind it but um, you know you get artists like Picasso for example who uh, you know toward the end of his life uh, he would just draw those quick little sketches on ink and they're right. they're interesting sketches yeah but there's a lot of debate and uh, and it's arguable as far as whether or not he was actually doing a less is more showing that you can do a single line just to show the actual bare bones of the figure or whether he was just showing people that he's Picasso and he can do a little quick doodle and, and he'll pay $60,000 for it. And so it's kind of, it's unclear. That's one way I, to go. There's a lot of debate. I hear a lot of yeah. historians debate about whether or not he was making a true artistic, you know, well, statement he- or whether he's just being a dick. So. Well, I guess you could even go with Andy Warhol on some of that stuff. Because, yeah. I mean, all of his stuff is is in that movement in the 60s, and it has mm-hmm. a very simple... Yeah. And his motivation for a lot of that stuff was money. Well, that's true. But Warhol, too, was a uh, he was a printer. True. So he there, could actually draw. Right. But but my point is that um, there there's a less is more factor of the medium itself. Yeah. In that case, too, it. which is interesting. If yeah, you think about that. You definitely have to simplify that medium to get yeah. it down. Yeah, into I mean, you can have colors. very detailed presses, or obviously, yeah. or prints. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 a medium that's way easier, and kind of like airbrushing too, where you know you can sit there with an exacto knife and create your little you know things, or you could just put some tape on there and oh, less is more, you know. But true, you know, well, nothing yeah. wrong with that. But. In general, you're creating, you're getting, you're capturing the essence. Essence. And that, essence is the key to less is more. That is the key to less is more. Mm-hmm. And that's, I think, I think that's the key to any art piece you do. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you don't have the essence or the idea of what you're doing before, any extra detail is just going to be right. It's going to get erroneous. jumbled in, and it's going to be an unclear message. Exactly. Right. So that. And I was thinking about this less is more thing. Kevin, yeah. before we started this, and I think that it's important, and this is something I need to work on, uh, so I'm rebuilding my webpage, mm-hmm. uh, as you know, our, our friend is rebuilding yep. my webpage, exactly. <laughs> it's more accurate, mm-hmm. and um, and I want to put 60 pictures of one mural on there, I'm like, oh, but, but I want him to be able to see every little piece of it, and he's like, no, right. you need less, you know, they don't need to see all of this, and I'm like, yeah, they do, man, and we argue about it a lot, Yeah, but... Ultimately, he's right. Less is more. Exactly. I need less. It's like James McMurtry says, if they've already seen your best, they can do without the rest. Ooh, that's Don't a good you one. know? That's a good one. I like have to write quote. that one down. Yeah. yeah. Put it on the wall. Yeah, I definitely... The, and then again, it goes back with the main idea mm-hmm. of what you're trying to display and the mm-hmm. message you're trying to give away, yeah. I think, is really what it boils down to mm-hmm. less is more. Yeah. And anything you do. whether it's Because it actually kind of... It's originated in architecture. Mm-hmm. And that's really where the less is more came from. Mm-hmm. So it's if you yeah. have all these extra with modern architecture, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have uh, 
Let me see. And also, it's um, one of those things, too, where yeah. the human imagination, if you show them absolutely your best work and you show them very few pieces, they're going to imagine that you can do more and hey, that your other work is going to be even better. But if you show them a lot of your work and it's not uh, all of it's not as good as those two or three little pieces then they're like oh well right yeah so show your best yeah show your best you forget the rest yeah forget the rest show the best and that's how you get your art in museums with dots as the main focus yeah do it nothing else that way yeah so it's so the less is more thing is a life statement or a life life, goal yeah i'd say it's a way to live mantra it actually it comes from zen buddhism as another part where there you go i didn't even know that way back into that there you go that research right back there yeah i didn't do a lot of that (laughs) (laughs) but so it's actually a zen philosophy so you you can live this way but also apply it into your art and then less is more fashion and Mm -hmm. you can have silhouettes of a person as opposed to sketching the person out you know things like that you can create a lot of interesting images and and statements just by breaking things down to their shapes just their bare shapes and if you really think about it simplicity is harder to do than a lot of added detail it's harder to break things down into simple simplified things than to just create everything i would say that's true yeah a lot of things there's that that actually reminds me of um Mark Twain's book, uh, Life on the Mississippi, he was talking about uh, one of the uh, boat captains, Miss, you know, it's a, all, it's about right. steamboat captains. Life on the Mississippi. Yeah, Life on the as the name might suggest. <laughs> there you go. Right. But it's about steamboat captains. But one of the captains had a photographic memory, and he remembered everything. Everything that he'd ever heard, everything he ever saw, every name, everything. Mm-hmm. And he would tell stories all the time. And Mark Twain commented that they were the most boring stories in the world because the guy remembered everything and he couldn't really differentiate between what was interesting and what was important versus everything. Right. So that's a less is more thing. Mark Twain, who did not have as good a memory, remembered only the important things, only right. the good parts. The and so key. his stories, you know, were way more interesting. One of the exactly. best novelists in yeah. American Definitely. history, you Never. know. It created the American novel. I don't know if you know anything about did literature. Do a little I'm bit. A little contribution. It. But anyway, so less is more. And, you know, that's Mark Twain's perhaps not, he didn't actually say less is more, but perhaps in his essence. little... In essence. In yeah, essence. he was getting around it. He was... Word of the day. Right. In essence. In essence. That's... I less think, is more. Less in is essence. more. In essence. And I think, I know, I think that... That, that pretty much yeah. does it. We're going to... Yeah. In keeping with keeping. the theme of less is more. Yeah. There's no more to elaborate on this. I think <laughs> we've gotten the essence of this podcast <laughs> yeah. down. Less is more. Do it, people. Every day. Zen Buddhism. Right. Also, like us on Facebook. Yes. Like us on Facebook. (laughs) If you have any questions or concerns, or not concerns, but if you have any questions, suggestions. They might have concerns. They might. might. Send them to info at articulatepodcast.com. Remember to like us on the YouTube channel right there. Check all the links below, and we'll see you guys in the next week's podcast. Maybe we'll have another interview yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. I'll, I'll you, don't see know what, you don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to see how that goes. You'll see. But. <laughs> you, will, you, you subscribe and you'll see what we're going to do. You keep up with us. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I think that's right. sufficiently freaked out enough, people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. See you Signing later. Off. Have a good week, people. We'll see you next week. You've been listening to Articulate with Kevin and Sean. Subscribe on iTunes or check them out on drawingandcoloring.com. Always reminding you to keep it simple.